work in this chair, but it makes so much fucking noise. Yeah, I don't blame you. Hey, it's Pokemon Snap, and I'm here with Zalir in the early morning. Uh, well, <laughs> Zora got released for Smash, and, uh, well... I've never played Smash, and I've never played Kingdom Hearts. <sighs> You know what Sakura Lily said? Oh yeah, speaking of Zora, all the Kingdom Hearts games are on the Switch, and I'm just sitting here going, Zalir is going to beg me to play all those games. I've never played Kingdom Hearts, so you don't have to worry about that. <sighs> I have. <laughs> I played Dream Drop Distance, and I'm going to tell you this. It is bullshit hard. To grind up just to beat the boss. <laughs> oh, Lord. I went to every single world, beat every single enemy multiple times, just to be able to beat the final boss. <laughs> just to get more health. One With Riku and Zora. One game I would recommend if it wasn't so gruesome is Outlast. Yeah. Um, I speedrunned Outlast, and I beat the game in an hour and a half. And I think the world record was, like, a little under an hour, like 58 minutes. I'm not too sure. I haven't watched a speedrun of Outlast in a long time, because I, when I was a little bit younger, I used to watch speedruns a lot. I used to watch gameplay, I used to watch gameplay playthroughs a lot. I don't know if you know this person, but there was a Pokemon speedrunner that I would watch called Worcester. No, I never heard of this person. I never watched the speedruns. Worcester has the worst luck in the history of any Pokemon player. He found a uh, shiny Totodile in one of his speedruns in but he Gold and Silver. But he couldn't catch it because it was a speedrun, right? Well, he was going to trade it to another game, but turns out he couldn't save the he couldn't save the game, and therefore it was gone forever. Oh my god! Oh. Because he had a and speed then, run. And then there was the time where he speed run Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and he found a shiny Cyndaquil. Oh my fucking and god! He didn't want to give up the Cyndaquil, and the Cyndaquil had shitty-ass stats. So that made it even worse. When you get plus, a... the little animation that plays when it goes out in the battle. Sorry, I'm kind of stuttering a little bit. No, no, no it's fine. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that, that cost too much time in the speed run, so... He just kind of like said fuck it to the speed run and he saved the uh, Cyndaquil by say, bringing it to another game. And sorry, I can't really talk very well because I'm focusing on this game. No, I'm crossing. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, no, I'm playing Xenoverse. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just taking pictures on the under. So uh, basically, I'm telling you, I'm in the underwater level. A Pokemon mm -hmm. Snap. So I'm taking like pictures of Sharpedo and all this while we're just talking. Mm -hmm. Basically what I'm doing. It's pretty cool. Just try to get some level twos in there just so I can lock new areas. I played a little bit of the new Pokemon Snap. I'm quite excited about uh, the old Pokemon Snap coming back. Yeah, I'm kind of excited too. I'm not going to lie. So, when I saw Kingdom Hearts, I'm like, there's no way they're going to add, like, the only way to add Zora is to get rid of all the Disney characters, and that's what they did. I'm like, okay, well, that was the only way they were ever going to add them. Get rid of the Disney characters. <laughs> and I know some people were like, where's Donald and Goof? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You got Zora in the game. Shut the fuck up. It's over now. The game's over. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you hear Toast snoring in the background? I hear Toast snoring in the background whenever he's asleep and you make videos. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
that's what he does sometimes when like when we're both together. If he sleeps in the fucking car, I can't fall asleep and take a nap in the car because he snores so fucking loudly. You know, uh, when I was younger, I used to sleep. Uh, I used to sleep talk. Oh, I sleep walk. Apparently, uh, that might be a result of the hypnosis. I sleep talk when I was younger, you know. All right, I'll tell you a story. So in high school, there's this fucking hypnotist, and uh-huh. ever since I saw this hypnotist, right? Uh-huh. Apparently, I sleep walk in my sleep. It's because I think it's because of that hypnotist because before. I could wake up with my alarm. Now my body goes on auto and shuts off my alarm clock. What the hell? Every time I set it on. But this time I know I was awake at 630 because I woke up at 630 to the alarm this time. But I just went back to bed because I was so fucking tired. Sometimes I actually am awake, but I just decide to go back to sleep. Cause I'm like, fuck this shit. I want to go back to. I don't want to wake up. Like sometimes when my dad is work at work and my mom's in the bed, I'll just hop on my father's side of the bed and sleep with her, and our dogs sleep with us. And That's pretty cool. My mom told me one time that one of the dogs wanted to get in the bed with me, and. She asked me to lift up the covers, and oh, no. I think I did it with my eyes shut. And, That's never a good sign. And uh, I didn't mutter a word, apparently, from what she says. And I immediately went right back to bed. And she told me about this the day later, and I said I have no memory of that whatsoever. Of doing what? Uh, letting my dog in the bed with us. Oh. And then there was, and then there was times where my grandma woke me up, and I told her, "Leave me alone, leave me alone. I want to go back to bed." And she says, "All right." And <laughs> I, she tells me this when I wake up, and I says, "I have no idea what you're talking about." I, I sleep talk. Yeah. Well, uh, well, it's not really sleep talk. It's kind of like being half asleep. Yeah, I'm half asleep every time I go to my alarm clock. Yeah. And one thing that's extremely rare for me is to fall asleep in a car. I try to get a nap every now and then, like when my father... Because, Zalea, I'm going to tell you, it is painful working every single time, every work shift. Because it takes my father an hour and a half to do the counting thing for, like, all the the sales for the restaurant and the bar. Uh So, and because he's also dyslexic, which makes it even fucking better. It takes him an hour, 30 minutes just to see the numbers, calculate it and put it all together. It is the most painful experience I've ever been a part of. (laughs) (sighs) I'm like, hurry up, old man. I want to go to bed. I want to go home. Hurry up, old man. I don't say that to him because he'll he'll probably go, shut the fuck up! (laughs) So, I I don't really, uh, you know, talk back to my old man. I've learned that the hard way. My old man kind of scared me as a child. (laughs) Basically, like a dog, he grew, he he, uh, scared the fuck out of us as children, and uh, well, it showed, because we did well in school. (laughs) Oh my god. Like, Like, during, like, I think in middle school, I think my parents started to notice that I was depressed as fuck, uh, cause I was getting sick all the time, I was skipping math class, like, my grades in math were, like, the worst. Uh-huh. I fucked myself over. I could've l- been able to do easy with tax money, but I couldn't because I kept getting stressed out <laughs> at math class and passing out and seeing demons. <laughs> Straight up, that's I saw. I saw demons, dude. I saw like yokai. I saw like the girls from the ring. I, I saw all those types of shit that my eyes could make me fucking see, dude. 
And I, 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 I was well, always so I, apologetic to the nurses because they're like, no, no. So I'm like, no, I'm pissing you guys off. I'm sorry. But my dad, he's not scared of me, but he's 